Kanauji is an Indo-Aryan language spoken the Kanauj region of the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh. Kanauji is closely related to Hindustani, with a lexical similarity of 83–94% with Hindi. Some consider it to be a dialect of Hindustani, whereas others consider it a separate Western Hindi language. Kanauji has about 6 million speakers. Kanauji shares many structural and functional differences from other dialects of Hindi, but in the Linguistic Survey of India it has been added as a variant of Braj and Awadi. Kanauji has two dialects or variants of its own, Turhari and Transitional Kanauji, which is between Standard Kanauji and Awadi. Geographical distribution Kanauji is not a standard dialect of Hindi and can be assumed to be the transitory phase between Braj Bhasha and Awadi. Eastern parts are heavily influenced by Awadi whereas western districts are Braj speaking. Kanauji is predominantly spoken around the historic town of Kanauj in the following districts of the Ganga Yamuna Dobe. Kanauj Mainpuri Etawa Farakabad Oreya Kampur in the non Dobi areas, it is spoken in Hardoi, western parts of Lakimpur Kari and Siddhapur districts in Awad and Shahjananpur and Pilibit of Rohilkhand. A distribution of the geographical area can be found in Volume 9 of Linguistic Survey of India by George A. Grierson. Works <laughs> <laughs> Topic Phonology Topic Topic Consonants Topic Topic Grammar Topic there is no published grammar of Kanoji till date, but some of the basic features of Kanoji, which can be observed easily, are as below. Kanoji is a prodrop language. In such languages pronouns are dropped for the convenience of the speaker. This feature includes pronouns of wh category, too, for example, ka, tum huan jao, can also be said huan jao. Topic. Word formation processes. Topic. Word formation processes of Kanoji are more or less like of Hindi, but some processes of word formation of Kanoji are not found in Hindi. Here are the word formation processes of Kanoji. Topic. Borrowing words Topic. In borrowing something from other language is taken directly into a language. It is a very common and very productive process of word formation. On the lexical and semantic basis we can divide borrowing in two types. Topic. Lexical borrowing loan words. Topic. In lexical borrowing a word is directly taken into a language from other language. Lexical borrowing is very common in Kanoji. Sometimes a word is not borrowed as it is. Some phonetic changes are made to it to match the properties of target language. The word is localized for ease of native speakers. For example, topic. Semantic borrowing calc. Topic. In semantic borrowing some concept from another language is taken into a language, but the words used to express that concept are made in the target language. In this type of borrowing concepts, words are localized. For example, topic. Coining topic. Coining is a less frequent and a less productive word formation process. In coining meaning of a word is extended up to an extent that it starts being used as an category. Here are some examples of coining. Chayawanpra, shish was a product made by Dabur. After that, many other companies launched their similar products. The name of Chayawanpra, Shish became so popular that now every such product is known as Chayawanpra, Shish. Pakmo, La, when Vaidyanath launched its digestive tablets it named them Pakmo, La. 
This product became so popular that afterwards all such products are known as Pacmo, le. Topic: <laughs> Word formation by addition. Topic. In kanoji new words are formed by inflection old words, too. According to different properties this process is divided into two main types. Topic. Inflection Topic. In inflection a new word is formed from an old word by adding something in it. It is the most common process of word formation in kanoji. This process is category specific. The grammatical category of a word remains same even after inflection. For example, ini lodka plus ini equals ladkini boy girl. Here, ini is used to make a feminine form of the word lodka. Here is another example of inflection. Sangi plus ini equals sangini. Mate male, mate female. Topic. Derivation Topic. In derivation, too, new words are formed by old words using affixes. This is a very common process like inflection. There are three types of affixation found in kanoji. Topic. Prefix Topic. In this type of affixation an affix is inserted initially in a word. App, app, plus jash app jash, evil fame, par, par, plus dosh pardo, shish, others defects, app and par are prefixes here. New words are being formed by adding them to two old words jash and dosh. Topic suffix. Topic. In this type of affixation an affix is inserted at the end of a word, this way a new word is formed. Evodika, na, plus aevo dikavo. Showing Rakna, plus aevo rakavo. Keeping Panopna plus pan apno, pan Self Topic. Infix Topic. In this type of affixation an affix inserted somewhere in the middle of the word. La dkevo, plus la declavo. Showing making something show by some other person. Va hasa evo, plus va hasavevo. To make laugh causing people laugh by some other person. Topic. Blending. Topic. Blending is the process in which parts of two words which are already present in that language are joined to make a new word. Choti, plus bit, t, chotit, t. Small, girl. Baddy, plus bit, t, badit, t. Big, girl. Bade, plus dad, da, badid, da. Big, brother. Topic. Compounding. Topic. In compounding two words are stringed together to form a new word. This process is a common word formation process. This type of formation process is used more by educated persons. For example, Guru plus Gantal equals Guru Gantal. Here Guru Gantal is made by stringing Guru and Gantal and the meaning referred by the stringed word is reflected by the words. Although it is not necessary in every condition. For example, um, ma our dad, da um, ma dad, da. Topic. Conversion. Topic. Conversion is a very productive but less frequent process of word formation. In this process a word starts being used as another word having some similar properties. In this process a word of some grammatical category starts being using as word of other grammatical category, too. Here are some examples of conversion. Wow, Bowra, hi, he is a moron. Borain, kahi, how, dada, why are you behaving like a moron? Bowra is an abstract noun. In the first sentence Bowra, is used as an abstract noun. After conversion it started being used as a verb also, as in the second sentence. 
Topic: Suppletion. Topic: In suppletion, another relative form of a word is formed without any morphophonological similarities with the previous one. These forms do not relate morphologically or phonologically. For example, ya, t, and gao. Ya, t, ham, ya, t, hai. Gao, wow, gao, hado. Ya t is present participle for very go, whereas gao is the past participle form. Topic: Reduplication. Topic: Reduplication is a very common process of word formation in Kanoji. Most of the reduplicated forms are made by adjectival and nominal words. This is not a productive type of word formation process, instead it adds stylistic effect in conversation. For example, gari gari. Here gari is formed following the word gari so it is an example of reduplication. Eco-formation <inaudible> <inaudible> Eco-formation is a similar process like reduplication. In eco-formation a similar sounding word is made from nominal and adjectival. There is no logic behind why this formation is done but it increases the stylistic effectiveness of conversation. For example, tasla wasla Here wasla, a similar sounding word is formed after word tasla so it is an example of eco-formation process. Some other examples are Haldi waldi Ata wada Topic. Metaphoric expansion Topic. In metaphor a word is objected on another one because of some similarity. In metaphoric expansion a word is used in different situations and environments due to one similar quality. The meaning of a word is expanded metaphorically in this word formation process. For example, Dhamma, d sharka, r ko dhamma, d. Dhamma, d is a person who is preferred very much in his, her in-law's family, house. So sharka, r ko dhamma, d is used to refer a person who is favored very much by government. Here is another example of metaphoric expansion shekchil, li, gao ke shekchil, li. Topic onomatopoeic words Topic onomatopoeic words are supposed as absolute or original words. They sound like the actions and things they are related to. For example, kotar patar it is a sound made by friction of two heavy objects. Doom dama, ko, it sounds similar to firing something. Sitar patar topic references topic topic further reading topic http colon slash slash www.sumania.com slash lang slash alindi 4.html dwivedi, pankaj, kar, somdev 2016. Kanaji of Kanpur, a brief overview. Acta Linguistica Asiatica. 6.1. Doi 10.4312 alla.6.1.1012119. Dwivedi, P. and Carr, S. 2017. On documenting low-resourced Indian languages insights from Kanaji Speech Corpus. Dialectologia, Revista Electronica, 19, 67-91. HTTPS colon slash slash www.raco.cat slash index .php slash dialectologia slash article slash view slash 328489 Dwivedi, P. and Carr, S. 2016, September. Sociolinguistics and Phonology of Kanauji. In International Conference on Hindi Studies, https colon slash slash www.researchgate.net slash profile slash pankage underscore dwivedi four slash publication slash three oh eight one nine eight one four two underscore sociolinguistics underscore and underscore phonology underscore of underscore kanaji slash links slash fifty seven a of fifty one bd oh eight eight oh eight two nine one three three two dc two dot pdf dwivedi p and car s 2018. Phonology of Kanaji. In Sharma, Ganshiam eds, Advances in Hindi Language Teaching and Applied Linguistics 1, 189-220. Germany, Linkum Europa.